Hi, I'm Kevin D. I'm the co-founder and designer of Evergoods. Uh, Jack and I are really excited about launching solution dyed black products this year. Uh, you might be wondering, what is solution dyed? Why are Jack and Kevin excited about it? So I wanted to just briefly explain that. Uh, in order to really have this conversation, I think it'll be helpful if we just do a quick overview of how uh, synthetic textiles are made. Uh, our backpacks are made of nylon primarily, which is a plastic. Um, so these textiles start their life as a liquid polymer chemistry. So this is just a big uh, vat of liquid chemistry. Uh, down at the bottom of this vat, there's these little, they're called spinnerets. Uh, these are just tiny little openings. The, the chemistry comes down out of the opening and it gets cooled and it just turns into like, a, basically like a little fishing line. It's called a filament. Uh, so this vat produces a bunch of filaments. This up here, this is polymer. Uh, this stage is filament. Okay. Uh, so then these filaments get bundled together um, into yarn. Now, depending on how many filaments they put in the yarn, this determines uh, the thickness of the yarn and the denier of the yarn. Uh, so, you know, we've got a bundle of filaments that make up our 210 denier fabric. Twice that many filaments will make up our 420 denier fabric. Twice that many filaments makes a fatter yarn. This is what makes our 840 denier fabric. Um, all of these fabrics start way back here as a bundle of filaments um, called yarn. So this yarn all uh, gets spooled together on these like massive cones. Kind of looks like thread that you'd see on your sewing machine, but like huge. Okay. So there's a, there's a bunch of these cones of yarn that go uh, into, the, into the loom area. This is what starts the weaving process. So this yarn gets put onto a warp beam Basically, this is just like a bunch of parallel rows of yarn that come out. And this is, this is the warp in the textile. Okay, so the warp gets set up. Then they take, in our case, it's an identical yarn and we balance weave. So this gets then like filled in back and forth. Okay, and this is the beginning of the textile. Uh, at this point, it's undyed. People call it, it can be called gray goods, but most commonly it's called grayish. So this is just an undyed textile. It's kind of a dull white or a light gray color. And it's just like bulk fabric. Uh, okay, so now this grayish is undyed. It needs to be dyed. Um, so we're just gonna kind of uh, imagine a big roll of textile here that this goes into. So the first step then is the dye bath. So we're gonna have a huge vat. Um, and this is where we're gonna, this undyed textile is gonna become black. A couple of rollers here. So this fabric, there's a few different dye processes, but basically this fabric's gonna wash in and out and in and out of this dye bath to color it black. So at this point, our fabric is dyed black. Now the fabric's all wet, it's full of dye stuff, it's nasty. So it has to be rinsed. So it's gotta go through water. Okay, same deal. Got a bunch of rollers. This fabric is gonna go in and out and in and out of this water to rinse it off and rinse all the excess dye off. Sweet, so now we've got dyed black fabric, but it's all wet. So now we've got heat. Okay, so this fabric needs to be heated in order to just dry it off um, and prepare it for storage. Okay, so this is finished fabric. Cool. So. The way that the, the reason this is usually done this way is that it's very flexible for production. Um, because we can weave, uh, uh, weave and make the grayish on the front end, it's undyed. This is the really time consuming part. 
Uh, so manufacturers can weave a lot of grage in bulk. They can store it for a certain amount of time. Then they can, they can take different orders. They can peel off a thousand yards, dye it red, 2000 yards, dye it blue, 10,000 yards, dye it black. And it's very flexible in this way. So this is why it's done this way. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of water and energy. It's a lot of wastewater in the dye, water to rinse, energy to heat to dry. So enter solution dye. What is solution dyeing? Solution dye means that we come up here to the polymer stage and we, we make this polymer black from the beginning. So we color the plastic yarn before, before it's even extruded into filament. So now at this point, we got black filament, we got black yarn, we got black grayish. I'm not even, I'm not going to draw this in, but it's black at this point. And then when we come down here, all of this dye process, all this heat and energy, all the rinsing, the dyeing, the drying, it's done. It's already black. Finished. The other advantage of solution dyeing is that because this yarn is, is dyed at the polymer stage, so all the way to the core, if you were to cut it and take a cross section of it, it's dyed all the way through the entire thing. Uh, so it resists fading from UV when that surface uh, abrades off, either, either from physical abrasion, from UV degradation, the color is all the way through. So it's very color fast uh, to UV and abrasion. Um, and it saves tons of water and energy. So it was a really been a really long road to deliver solution dyed black, uh, but we're really proud to launch it, Jack and I, and uh, thanks for watching.